Okay, welcome. Uh, I'm going to do, it's actually the first of three nice little jigged nymphs. And uh, Chris has been fishing these down in New Zealand. And they've been, uh, well, guess what? I think he was fishing them around here too. But they're all going to use a CDC tail. You could use pheasant. I'm kind of partial to the CDC. It's pretty stuff, isn't it? Yeah, you bet it is. Uh, how many fibers? Four, five, six, three. Not very many. We don't have much of a tail on this little beauty. So this has got a tan modeled slotted bead. They're all going to use a, um, a brassy size copper wire. And this one is going to have a brownish SLF. This SLF dubbing is really, it's really nice. I'm going to keep this body pretty slender. And uh, I'm going to just put the tiniest little hint of super glue there. Uh, so we, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to have a tan a, a light brown bead and we're going to have an olive bead and we're going to have a black bead. Not on this fly. The idea is the main part of the body is going to follow that general color style and then we're going to have a little collar of UV tan I step so a bitty collar there and we're gonna have a little hot spot and the hot spot on this one and the brown one is gonna be a UV Orange ice dip. Not overpowering. Just a little bit. And I've got my red thread. So this, uh, this, all these flies are very much in the keeping of the thinking when you're fishing uh, Euro nymphing. Um, somewhat sparse. Uh, this fly is going to penetrate the water pretty well. Not going to overpower the fish. This is size 16. Um, and it is an eighth inch bead. So there, there you have it. That's the first in this series. And I'll be next. I'll be showing you one with an olive bead and one with a black bead, and they're all going to be a little bit different to kind of suit the different types of bugs uh, that the fish might react to. Hope you have fun with this.